Hashirama and Madara. Who oh, no! Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'll be doing the review for chapter 622 to the other side. So it starts off with Hashirama and Madara actually meeting at the riverside, actually introducing themselves when they were very, very young. Well, it was actually more Madara demanding who he was. Eh. From the very first page, we already know Hashirama has some nice analytical skills that actually analyzes how Madara threw that rock. Which is good. And then, and then the whole situation goes to start all over where Madara gets mad at Hashirama. Hashirama enters depression. Depression goes into happiness. Happiness annoys Madara. And Madara goes back to yelling and goes right back in the circle. Which I thought was hilarious. But at the same time, they were actually developing a friendship at the time. So I was like, yos, yos. But the one that actually got me real laughing is that, you know, it's like, you annoyed the hell out of me. I'm going to touch you across the river instead of a rock. Which is awesome! But anyway, even though Madara was still pissing off people, it's just still... No, even though Madara was still getting annoyed by Hashirama, it still wanted to be friends, kind of. But then all of a sudden, Hashirama notices the body... <sighs> Man, so disappointing. Hashirama notices the body and says he has to go. Apparently, the war was coming their way, which kind of sucked for them, because they were only kids. And to point that out, I, I will get to that in a bit. And, of course, at the time, they analyzed their both shinobi. Well, who knew? One knew how to throw a shuriken, one knew how to walk on water. What are you supposed to be doing? And so, the scene cuts all the way to the part where they're burying bodies. And sadly, one of them was a seven-year-old boy. Which triggers Hashirama and Itama's... What, oh, just to mention, Itama was their younger brother. Which I we never knew. Huh. At first, because with the uh, crying tears, I thought he was like the third uh, Hokage, but... Don't, don't mind that. Hashirama gets hella annoyed that a seven-year-old kid had to die just because they thought he was shinobi enabled. Which I think is crazy because this is pretty much going back to the whole African Africa ch uh, children's soldiers, you know, kid soldiers. It's scary. But then Hashirama is just like completely, basically his actions towards his father was justified because it was a seven-year-old kid. And why do people have to die to become worthy? Do soldiers have to be... Like soldiers in today's world, do they have to die to become worthy? They have to be, they have to sacrifice their own life, get the ultimate sacrifice for a worthy cause just to be recognized as a, a soldier? Why do ninjas in, in this story? So I understand Hashirama's position here. It, it was very upsetting, actually. Hashirama was a big mouth man. He had some guts talking to a father, especially the leader of the Senju clan. I'm guessing the leader of the Senju clan. But then, of course, Toru Rama's the one that's, you know, kind of neutral. But then again, he could side on whatever. Actually, the one that actually decided to form the alliance or partner with people was Toby Rama. Hashirama had the idea, but Toby Rama was the voice. For some reason, I think that how, that's how it works, huh? But then again, Hashirama has a nice sense of depression at the time and then. And then a cutscene goes back and you find uh, Itama, their younger brother, surrounded by five Uchiha members. Holy damn! That is upsetting. The Senju clan and the Uchiha clan actually got allied through Madara and Hashirama. Rather than now, they're currently enemies. So wouldn't that make... No, no, no. Senju had the powerful chakra while Madara had the optical vision. And then they meet back in the river, Madara, Harsharama, and then it's just, you know, a little goofing talks like, no, it's nothing. What's wrong? It's nothing. Tell me what's wrong. No. Come on, I'm good. I want to listen. No, I don't want to. Come on, tell me. Nah, I'm okay. Just talk. It's nothing. Just talk. My younger brother died. <laughs> and of course, that shocks. Madara, because now they found some, pro they probably found some common ground at the time. Hashirama asks Madara if he has any brothers, and well, he says he has four, then changes that to had. So sad. And then at the very same time, they actually shared the same ideal thoughts between each other. People should be allies with them, able to show and uh, show feelings, show everything they want to show. But Madara says otherwise because they say it's not possible to see what people really truly thinks and feels deep inside which isn't human nature in my case well not in my case in my opinion uh because a lot of people don't want to express that uh, you know a lot of people don't want to show what they want to feel they, they want to keep it inside because they think it's gonna be their own burden or they just don't want to bother people with their own problems so that's where naruto 622 ends where basically harsharama and madara reached a mutual insight into the future and they would probably 
knock themselves in the head, they find out who they were they were. Oh boy. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen here, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to sub, alright guys? I'd like to see you guys more often, do more reviews for y'all. Alright guys, take it easy. Peace.